Hi guys, welcome to this video about the HP35 the Intelligent USB Load Tester. This video is only about explaining the buttons and display, I mean functions and buttons. This is not how to test a power bank or power supply or whatsoever so i think it should be possible to do it within 10 minutes at least i hope so so by the way of course there are some instructions or there's a user manual online for this device but it is really super difficult to understand especially for me of course but uh, even for native english speakers it uh, it looks like it's hard to really understand and but anyway i'll put down the link into the description down here so if you're interested into that there are also a lot of other online videos about this device how to use that but most of them i haven't been able to understand as well so i've been just trying around a little bit and this is what i have found so far and i want to share this with you so here we have the case uh, of course and here we have the device itself that's a new one so, uh, HD35 that's the more powerful and has a little bit more function or yeah safety than the HD25 the old version yeah what's always good to have is such a power meter that makes it a little bit easier especially at the beginning to understand how this thing actually works so when we plug it in, so let's say here on a power bank, I zoom out a little bit, hope you can see everything. So we can see that it always starts with the amps. And here we can see on this power meter that it doesn't start the load testing. It just shows the display with the amps, I mean, based on the ohms, uh, which we set with these potentiometer uh, it will produce a certain amps on 5 volts so yeah let's put it to 2.1 amps which is supposed to be the highest with this power bank and we start it so here on the right side we have the ok button here we have the set button we have a trigger button here I oh, hope you can see that it's a little bit too far so ok and plus here the set and minus and here uh, underneath a little bit hard to see that's the trigger button here we have some LEDs here so if you want to start the whole test with 2.1 amps we just start push the button here and you can see we get confirmation that it will do the load testing with 2.1 with amps all the time so as soon as the temperature reaches more than 40 degrees celsius or we have more than 10 watts uh, power consumption then the fan will turn on so it can be that the fan will be running on off on off but it doesn't mean anything regarding the power consumption it's usually just when the heat is too much so at the end i highly recommend to just plug it in stop it leave it in as long as the fan is running to let it cool down and only then remove it from the power so what we can set here is of course the amps which we want to test so i can reduce it easily to maybe one amp or whatsoever and you see the fan is stopping but it's still running we can see the power consumption here so we see that it is still running so here we have like a cycling display we can during the measurement or even before we can cycle through the display we and we just push once here it goes to a p which means power which means watts so it is consuming 6.1 watts we press another one that's 5 volts so it's not a v it's a u but it looks similar to the v so that's the only thing they can display so they display a u so we have the amps we have the power which are watts and we have the voltage sometimes when we increase 
the load of course voltage will drop during the testing so by the way the amps is not the only thing which you can change in the load mode so of course the load we have seen the amps we can change but we can also go to the power settings we start this and we see the it is consuming 6.1 watts but we can change that but all, of course we have to be careful the maximum of this device is 2 amps that makes about um, 10 watts so we shouldn't increase uh, above 10 watts otherwise it could uh, it could damage this device here so of course most of these power banks or wall chargers they should have uh, protection against overpowering but you never know uh, you don't want to damage such expensive devices so we can only change the power means watts or we can change the amps but we cannot change the volts so I mean it doesn't matter what I do in which setting I change something if it is within the amps or it is within the power means that I'm actually just changing the uh, resistor with the potentiometer so there's no difference in what settings I change that so you have to be really careful not to overpower uh, this device so now we are going into the quick charge section and we have to press two uh, for two seconds the button here on the knee so you can see that and it shows minus uh, zero 05 whatsoever and we see this blinking here and we can push like different times so the red is the I think QC 2.0 green is QC, I mean quick charge 3.0 and blue is for Samsung quick charge and UVA and but we have also an automatic mode and the automatic we start with the left button we just press short and we let it run and see if it finds something and there would be all these uh, different colors where they would uh, light up uh, to show what's available but it doesn't show anything and it stays at 5 volts so it looks like we don't have any kind of quick charge capabilities here on this power bank we can also uh, double check by manually searching for that so we go again we press 2 seconds again we are now again this minus 0 5.0 shows this special mode we can also change the voltage here now I've been a little bit too slow I have to go back now I go again into the setting and I have to press until uh, it changes the volts you can see so let's try with 12 volts and I press for another two seconds from the button here so it goes back and we check on the volts but it's still on 5 volts that makes it clear that it was not possible to change into quick charge so this power bank here doesn't provide any quick charge at all I'm showing you a different model which is able to do that so you see the difference we have a wall charger and we press again for 2 seconds and now we are at the first setting of the quick charge we press short and another time short and again now we are on the automatic mode we press on the left side once short and let it run so it needs some time to cycle through everything and search for the different quick charge mode you can see it goes up from 5 to 9 12 volts and so on and it is looking for if it's available and after that it will show the different colors which are available so at the end I think we have everything you yeah, see red green blue uh, indicating that everything should be available so but we are still not in the load mode uh, but we can do that manually so we try again 
I press again for two seconds but now we change it here we change the voltage here on the right side we click just a, a few, couple of times till it starts changing so we can change everything we could even go to 20 now we are at 20 volts press two seconds here let's go back to the load uh, mode and we start the thing here so that's really powerful I think it's better to reduce the load a little bit with 20 volts we don't want to test it <laughs> with 2 amps otherwise we could damage it so now let's check how many volts we have and you can see it has 12 volts so it didn't stay at 20 volts but, but at least on 12 volts so it looks like we have at least some kind of uh, quick charge settings. Now let's try the same thing with 9 volts. So we go again to the quick charge settings mode. We just keep pressing here till we are at 9 volt. Now we are at 9. Press 2 seconds again here down and start the load test. And we can see that we have 9.1 volts we have also yeah about 1 amp and of course we have 9 watts so you can see it, this device is supporting definitely 9 volts 12 volts but obviously not 20 volts so this is how we can test that there are a lot of more options here like automatic triggering so you can age a power bank or whatsoever but uh, I don't know how to do that I have never had the need to do that but at least I hope I was able to show you a few basic options regarding basic load testing and these quick charge functions so that's it for now uh, if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel, thanks for watching and see you next time.